Let's get back to the subject. Oh god, we're back to the controller. Welcome back, everyone. <clears throat> you said that Ryan's father had doubts about the false memories? Was he the only one in the government who felt this way? He must have been something. He was. He stole the only remaining model of the memory erasure device. That couch looks awesome. He escaped to the outside world with several of his colleagues. I'm sure the government must have been quick to send someone after them. I keep changing her voice. Whatever. Yes. The government's soldiers had one goal, to retrieve the memory erasure device. They've searched all over for the outside world for him, but he was always one step ahead. Instead of taking the device with him to, into exile, he hid it inside of the dumb city itself. He reconfigured it into that watch so that he would only be able to identify it. And then he gave the watch to Ryan. Yes, to the one person he could trust. Someone who didn't know the power of the object he held. <clears throat> and that's when you let her... And that's when your leader found the Z-Syndicate. And all this time, the Z-Syndicate's goal has actually been to inform people of the truth. It was at first. You wanted people to know the truth. To prepare, them, to prepare, to prepare themselves in, ca in case Rob did attack him. But as time passed, he began to worry to doubt himself. He began to worry that informing everyone of the truth would only trigger mass panic. He realized that it might be best to find a way to stop Rahu without having the people know about it. <clears throat> that was the moment when my leader formed a syndicate made up of his strongest fighters. Strongest fighters? And that's when he recruited you. I wanted to save this ruined world in order to do that. I knew I would have to help him. <clears throat> he told me he needed something to support him, no matter how insane his orders might seem. <clears throat> but you could have told Marcia before you left. You ordered at least that much, didn't you? To be honest... I had, I had planned on leaving Marcy before I met your father. You go hug her. My sister would do anything I told her. If I had stayed, she would never have left my shadow. It was unacceptable, unthinkable. I wanted her to think for herself, to grow into the commander she is. I thought that if I went around, she would have the opportunity she needed to think for herself. That's why I left the way I did. But I always watched over her. I would have come to her aid in a second if she were in danger. I left even though I knew I ran the risk of ultimately alienating her, of making her hate me for leaving her. Sergi, I learned something my parents taught me. Something more valuable than I realized. Turn that down a bit. Spoiling someone isn't love sometimes. You need to be strict in order to be compassionate. That's when I figured it out. That's when I knew that my older brother still cared about me. That he still loved me, and I wonder if that wasn't why you had left me in the first place. They hope that they helped me to understand and that's why I still love you. Thank you, Sergi. You've grown so strong, Marcia. The more I hear about this, the more complicated the situation is. I agree. Still, after hearing all that, it sounds like the Z formed in order to help out mankind. But what about Obero, the guy that wanted Rahu for himself? When our leader grew ill, Obero and Eliza, Eliza or Eliza, I think it's Eliza, made a grab for power. That's when it began to crumble. Began to crumble. The more they knew about Rahu's amazing powers, the more they wanted to possess it. They forgot our leader's goals, and they planned such foolishness as, the, as diving into Rahu. Hmm. I guess there's always one selfish sicko in every group. <clears throat> I acted as Oberos subordinate while looking for a chance to strike back. But wait, why did why was Elise at the lab? Didn't it have something to do with Rahu? Obero and Eliza both knew that the memory erasure device was the key to destroy Rahu, but they didn't know our leader had already stolen it. He was never sure he could trust them. They wanted that device so they could tame Rahu for their own end instead of destroying it. Eliza must have thought that the custom Rome research lab would have, would have such a device. That's why she attacked the lab. See? <clears throat> Just as I thought. Eliza thought the device was the research lab. <clears throat> He's smart. Which simply shows how flawed her thinking truly is. <clears throat> We've spoken long enough, Ryan. May I borrow your watch? I have a chip your father gave me. I'm going to insert it into your watch now. Once I've inserted the chip, the chip the watch's memory erase functions will be stored. I understand. I'll give you my watch. Thank you. Please wait while I insert the chip. Then... Maybe there's gonna be some action now. Now the music's all. 
I've inserted the chip into your watch. The memory erasure device is now functional. Ryan, I believe this is still yours. Your father put it in your hands for a reason. Point towards your target and activate. I understand. We're almost near the end. Let's go destroy Robin. Do you know where to find it? I've attached a tracking device for Robin. If it's, tra if it's transmitting, we'll know where Robin is. Let's hurry. If every passing second, Robin continues to evolve. It's still evolving? Like I said before, Rahu evolves. Rahu is especially drawn to negative feelings, hatred, envy, greed. It absorbs that mental energy, uses to feel its metaphors. So that's why it looked different every time we've seen it. It's not just its appearance that's changing, it's growing stronger with each evolution. The vice will erase Rahu's genetic memory so that it stops evolving. I fear that Rahu is rushing now, for preparing for his next evolution. We can defeat it if we erase its memory and eliminate its advantage. Let's go! His eyes open. I like how we're all following me. Looks like the automated locks broke. Let's go a different way. Hmm. Oh, sorry for not talking. I just didn't have anything to say. But some episodes have really long cutscenes. Like last episode, that was all cutscenes. Sorry for that if you're annoyed. <laughs> By hoping to see some action. But that was all cutscenes. And to hear my crappy, uh, voice acting, well, whatever, it's all cutscenes. Damn, we went a long way. I don't remember this part where they all followed. Harry's the only one that runs stupid. Hmm. Everyone, please follow me. I'll use the tracking of the amusement park. Alright, let's move on. Signals being strong, Ron must be around here somewhere. What is this place? I mean, what is this place? What's an amusement park? Oh god. I think it was a design for, as a place for people to have fun, judging by the odd looks of the buildings. Really? It doesn't look all that amusing to me. No place is amusing once it's been reduced to rubble. We need to hurry. Captain, we must go. Hold it! I mean, hold it, or whatever. You're one of Oberos loyalists. Sergi, what are you doing here with the police squad? You found Oberos and Kosh at the hideout, did you do that? His own greed did it. I merely helped. Shut up, you traitor! What are you talking about? You and Oberos are the one who corrupted our leader's vision, who ruined all that Z stood up for. You're the traitors. Oh, quit the stupid bustering. It's too late for us to join up with Elisa, but we had a better idea. Well, now brought ourselves and see. Damn it, everyone wants Rodney. Have you all forgotten your duty? We got we got your back, sir. Here we march it around, let's go. We're all doing a one-on-one -on -one battle. Wait, no. Okay, I was gonna say that's not fair. Wait, is this guy an ox? Yeah, he's an ox. Wow, that gun. Wait, what gun is? Oh, that gun's cheap. But the thing about those type of guns is, if you if they get down, that it won't continue. But I think that's every gun. Wow, I'm getting my ass kicked. This might be my first death in a while. Maybe not. Eh, 
Now we'll see. Oh, this is this is crazy, crazy, crazy. I thought I had only a. Yep, this might be my first step in a while, unless I. Oh, get back! I might, I might just make it barely, barely. Uh. Oh, talk about luck, am I right? <laughs> they can't compare, can they? You now have access to ground lanes. Jeez. You waste the precious time, you must hurry. Hold it! Are you serious? Not again, it's more of over as men. Mm -hmm. Sergi, yeah, so I'd like to see how strong we're speak on our own. Ryan, you're for me, I've always wanted to see what you're like as a partner. <laughs> That's funny. I think after this battle I'm gonna stop because there's a, there's a part I need to do, but there's gonna be a certain part that I'm gonna need to restart the game because it's gonna be a bad idea if I don't. Oh wait, she's my partner. Yeah, you get down, son. Get down. Get down, get down. I don't know why I'm not talking as much. It's tough because I figured my feet, so I'm kind of mad, I guess. And I just did that. I'm glad there's no I'm glad there's a friendly fire off. Or I don't get how, I mean, on. Because that would suck. I'm chasing you, boy. Oh, bomb down. Man, you guys both suck. Man, uh, freaking whatever her name is sucks. She's a horrible fighter. I mean, come on, look at the both have that guy is surviving, but not for long. Well, maybe for long. Oh. My first loss in a while. Mm. Damn. Okay, let's do it this time. I screwed up last time. Do it. Let's go. That's weird. There was lava. I knew it. I was just, I was just curious what happened. Here. No, I'm taking on this guy. No, shoot someone else. You know, screw you. Who's using an electric gun? Because that's annoying. Oh, come on. Combo combo, where are you at? Oh man. Eat it, son. Oh, 
come on. Don't, don't tell me my own crew. Yep, she's at 200. That's that's fantastic. Stop aiming for the same people. Oh, you're joking me. She's dead. You're joking. Great, I died yet again. Because she's... Oh my god. And I'm wasting even more time. Yeah, yeah, get it on. Get over it. Get it on with. Okay, let's just do this. Six hundred health. CPU green, any yellow. Now I'm pissed. Look at my game face. No, well, you can't see it because who makes who uses who uses webcams for let's plays? I mean, no, not let's plays and walkthroughs are different. What have I, because I think I already talked about the subject before, but from what I know, walkthroughs are like more no voice and it's very like it will show you a lot of things, like how to play the game and how to beat it. While playthroughs is kind of like the same but as talking, while let's plays it doesn't really show you, they're just having fun and keep having their own commentary. So I'm a let's player, not a walkthrough or playthrough. That's not a playthrough, that sounds so stupid. You know what, you're going down, you piece of crap. Okay, thanks for watching, everyone. And as always, yeah, yeah, stay gold. Goodbye.